Hey there, how are you doing team Nokia Power user here and we will welcome you all to another Nokia 3 video. In this video, we will show you uh, the normal Nokia 3 navigation which is obviously based on the Google Now launcher. So as HMD has claimed that Nokia 3, Nokia 5 and Nokia 6, they run the purest form of Android. So obviously there are not uh, many changes from the stock Android. I mean, it's uh, nearly the same experience that you get uh, from the Google Nexus or Google Pixel devices. So how it works like is that you can see that apps are here. You can move the apps by pressing and holding on them. So it works uh, like this. So all the Google apps are here. So it's like a folder here. But you can open it and you can uh, put any apps out of it. So it's like this. I mean, and uh, good thing about this navigation is that it is intuitive. So the app drawer can be opened by a swipe up. So you swipe up and you open the app drawer. You swipe down and you close it. So there is not. Uh, any i mean basically they will try to find there would not be any difference in how you use nogata on any other uh, nexus or pixel device or how you use it uh, on a nokia 3 so basically it's the same nokia 3 comes uh, with google assistant out of the box hi i'm your google assistant so i can help you find what you need and get things done if you need help just ask so by swiping down you can close the google app like i did how you will activate the google app is you need to perhaps go to if it's not activated then you have to go here and in settings you can see here you have google assistant settings and you can actually activate it from here so uh, when you have once activated the google assistant you can just i mean this is the home button you just press and hold it it activates the here are some results from the web so here it is already working so okay now coming to the settings navigation so basically you may have already uh, i mean learned so like there are screens and you may actually uh, increase the number of uh, so if i have to put it i can actually increase the number and create a more home screen here so this is how you navigate i can create more home screen so what remains always there is like this google uh, feed screen and then this one where you have the search bar and other apps so you can create more and more home screens other than this now uh, coming to how the navigation uh, settings navigation works like you can see you have to just swipe down to reveal this notification or action center here you see all the quick action buttons so it's like a wi-fi then your mobile data battery etc so if you have to edit and add more or remove any quick action from buttons from here you can do edit and you have to drag to add a title so let's say i have to add nearby i will just drag and add here somewhere and it's done so now i have one more uh, quick action button here So this is how the navigation works now coming to what nokia has added so as i said it's the purest form of android so nokia has not added many things but i could see one setting which is uh, interesting and uh, i don't think it exists on other it may exist on other device but in other form so here if you go to the settings how you go to settings you just swipe down and you can see the settings here you just go to that and then you scroll down to motion so i think this has been added by nokia so turn over to reject call so these gestures are there so you can just turn over to reject the call you can uh, if you uh, like mute on pickup so if you pick up it it will get uh, muted so these options you can wait so you this there is a tutorial too which says how to uh, use it now there is one more app which comes pre-installed which is nokia support so i have uh, like if you go to the app uh, drawer you will see that support app you have to tap it and for the first time it will try to 
uh, go to Google Play Store and update itself. Once it's done, it shows you many things like user guide, support chat, warranty status, frequently asked questions, etc. So quite useful app. So these are the few things that I think Nokia has added extra. Apart from that, it's almost same. Yes, the camera UI looks different. It's a bit different. Uh, the icons look a bit different from what you will see on the stock. Then you have different settings. So this is how the navigation works. Stay tuned to Nokia Pure Power User on YouTube and uh, uh, go to nokiapowerusa.com for reading our tutorials, our full coverage of Nokia 3. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.